Holden University Center of Lakeland Community College, you can earn a bachelor's or graduate degree from our university partners right here in Lake County. Lakeland's Holden University Center. Stay here, go far. Visit lakelandcc.edu slash uc. Attention, the library will be closed Friday, February 12th, 2016 for President's Day. Lakeland Library will reopen Saturday, February 13th, 2016 at 9 a.m. and will be open until 1 p.m. Call 440-525-7424 for more information. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Boss Hour. And as I said, I have a special guest today with me. Skyler Circla, he is my cousin. He is a soccer player. He played uh, two years at Notre Dame College, and uh, he looks to play for the Cleveland State Vikings in the fall. So, Skyler, tell me about yourself. I know about our family. I know about where you come from, but the audience doesn't know, so let's hear it. Uh, hello. Um, I was born in Oregon, and I moved here uh, first grade. Mm-hmm. And I've been playing soccer. Ever since I was six. Ever since you were six. So what, what do you think, uh, what brought to, you, uh, brought to you to the realization that you wanted to play soccer more than golf or basketball or football? Well, actually, soccer was the only uh, sport offered in my town. Okay. And I was, uh, I was an obese child. And what do you mean? I just wasn't in shape, so whenever I had the opportunity to play soccer, I stuck with it, and I lost, I think it was like 15 pounds. Nice, 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 nice. So, looking back at it now, do you think you made the right choice to stick with playing soccer? Oh, absolutely. I absolutely love the sport. So, talk about in high school, you went to Newberry High School yeah. uh, in Ohio, and talk about your years in high school and how that helped you get forward into the college well my first two years I actually struggled because soccer is a very physical sport and I was about five foot tall whenever I was in my freshman and sophomore year and that is true yeah and then I ended up growing up in about five eleven six foot now okay um for my junior and senior year so I struggled throughout my first two years, but then I ended up getting a lot of good stats my last two years. Yeah. So. Okay, okay. So uh, talk to me now more about the transition, your last two years in high school, and then getting to Notre Dame. What happened junior, senior year, and then led you to uh, the Falcons? Well, I actually... Because I grew up in Newberry, and it's a very small school, I didn't think I was going to have an opportunity to play college. But uh, my junior year, I ended up going to uh, Europe for soccer for the Olympic Development Program. Really? Yeah, and um, that was the first step onto my college career. And after that, I ended up... Uh, playing premier soccer and finishing off my two years really well and scoring a lot of goals and getting a lot of assists. That So I actually went to a college showcase for soccer, and I met the coach at Notre Dame, and he approached me about playing really? for Notre Dame. And, yeah, that's how I ended up at Notre Dame. So you talk about going to Notre Dame. How did you enjoy your first year? Well... <laughs> I I think I know the answer. Yeah, but. it was a very interesting first year because coming from Newberry, it's a very small school, and then having all these foreign kids from different countries like Brazil and England, and Argentina, mm -hmm. and Germany, they uh their lifestyle was a lot different than ours. They like to party, so they they brought the Americans into their little group of parties. Yeah. So my first year was a lot to do with hanging out with the team and partying. Yeah. So you talk about that. Now we're in your second year of college. Third, and third. third year. Yeah. I'm sorry. Third year of college. Now you're in the third year, and you're at Cleveland State. Yeah. What are you going for? Uh, physical therapy. 
So that's going to be your major? Yeah. All right. So what do you plan? How did... I remember when we were growing up, you were talking about playing in the MLS. Yeah. Or you were talking about playing for FC Porto, which is a, a football club in Portugal. It's like one of the premier clubs. One of the top or, clubs. One of the top clubs in Portugal. What made you kind of get that, you know, I don't know how to say it the right way, but the sense of reality that maybe going into something like physical therapy is a better alternative to playing professional soccer? What what gave you that realization like, hey, maybe as good as I am, maybe I need to, you know, go down a different path? Well, I mean, just looking at some of the greats from our team at Notre Dame, we had kids who grew up playing for the development team of Liverpool and really? Manchester United, the best teams in England, and they were trying out for teams that uh, that weren't even good, like teams like the Columbus Crew and all the MLS teams here that aren't good compared to England's teams, and they weren't even making them. So that really? was such really? a realization that okay. Yeah, couldn't make it in the big leagues. So tell me about, I know what the college life is like at a community college. Tell me about what your experience as a college student was like at Notre Dame compared to Cleveland State. Well, when you're in the dorms, it's very, very distracting to be around so many and, friends. And you're talking at Notre Dame. Yeah, at Notre Dame. And, yeah, it was very distracting to be around uh, friends. So you always had to just tune them out and try to study, but that was really hard, especially when you're on a soccer team where you have influences from your buddies. and Yeah, but then when I went to Cleveland State, and I'm commuting from home, so there's no mm -hmm. distractions anymore. Okay. So you're commuting from home. How's that with the winter weather? That's got to be rough. Oh, yeah, it's definitely rough. It's about a 45-minute drive from Newberry to Cleveland State. Yeah. And the freeways are never really plowed. So, yeah. Like yesterday was really Cleveland's bad. gotta do something about that. Yeah, they don't they don't plow their freeways for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it it's kinda bad. I'm getting into driving now and I'm not looking forward to the uh to the winter weather. Yeah. So we're gonna take a break and when we come back we're gonna talk more with Skylar Circla, and we're going to get into a recap of the Cavs game last night. You're listening to the Boss Hour, Lake Effect Radio. Are you a single mom? If you are, there's a program called SMART, or Single Mothers Achieving Real Triumph. SMART is a support networking and scholarship program which helps single mothers achieve academic success. The requirements, you must participate and be a new student either in your first or second semester in college, have demonstrated financial need, or attend uh, colleges on Tuesdays and Thursdays, at least six credits, and you must be available to attend workshops. Students must be enrolled in English 0111 or English 1111 to participate. This is an on-campus daytime program and some of the program benefits are you can gain access to resources which are available to students that you might not otherwise know about, acquire skills to help you interact effectively with instructors and college personnel, and meet weekly for support and networking. If you're interested in this program, give a call to the Women's Center at Lakeland Community College at 440-525-7322 or email vwilliams at lakelandcc.edu. Lakeland Library is partnering with Lee, Lake Geauga Educational Assistant Foundation, and Lakeland's Financial Aid Office in providing assistance to students working out to complete their FAFSA forms. A representative of Lee will be available in the library on February 2nd, 10 a.m. to 2, February 9th, 11 a.m. to 1, and 1.15 to 6, February 16th, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., February 23rd, 11 a.m. to 6, March 1st, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and March 8th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Assistance is available on a walk-in basis. For more information, please call 440-525-427424 for more information. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash lakefoot. 
The Lakeland Veterans Support Program assists veterans, guardsmen, reservists, active duty, and military families to make a smooth and successful transition into Lakeland Community College while supporting success in their educational goals and linking them to veterans and service member benefits. Lakeland awards college credit for military experience. Military veterans who would like to learn more about college credits and the benefits of starting college at Lakeland should call 440-525-7246. Additional resources Resources for veterans can be found at lakelandcc.edu slash veterans. Little Free Library. Take a book, leave a book. Little Free Libraries offer a way to share good books to read. Check out the two locations on campus, TLC Atrium of L Building and Entrance to E Building. Take a book. If you see something you would like to read, take it. When finished, leave a book, share a book. A Lakeland Community College Library and Kirtland Public Library project. For more information, please call 440-525-7424. Hey, Lakeland students. Pick up the latest issue of the Lakelander student newspaper to stay up to date with what's happening around campus. The Lakelander will keep you informed and entertained with all the latest campus news, music, reviews, political commentary, and everything in between. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Since you're pretty as soon as you came in the door, I just want to chill, got a sack for us to roll. Married to the money, introduced her to my stove. Showed her how to whip and now she remixing for low. She my trap queen, let her hit the bando. We be counting up, watch how far them bands go. We just had to go, talking about your Lambos. I'm 56 a gram, 500 grams though. Man, I swear I love her, how she work the Snatch a Ferrari And buy my blue a lamb I just might snatch a Renekton Let's drop a couple on the ring She ain't wantin' for nothing Because I got her Everything is You up from the band, though You my me where I can't go When me boys got the stand, though Call it my little bands, though Boy, how fucking your bands go Fetty, rub them with me 50,000 K, how I stand, though If you check them on my pockets I'm like Cooking paws, I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello, since you're pretty as soon as you came in the door, I just want to chill. Got a sack for us to roll. Married to the money, introduced her to my stove. Showed her how to whip it, now she remix it for low. She my track queen, let her hit the band, though. We be counting up, watch up all them bands, though. We just said it, though, talking about your Lambos. 56 a gram, 500 grams, though. Man, I swear I love it, I should work the damn pole Hit the strip club, we be letting fans go Everybody hate you, we just call them fans, though In love with the money, I ain't never let go I be s*** me, you know backwards what I roll When me boy Fetty eating s*** up, that's for show I run in your house, then I f*** your house Remember me boys and nothing, remember me boys and nothing Yeah you hear my boy, sounding like a zillion bucks on a track. I got whatever on my boy, whatever. Put your money where your mouth is. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the NBA Minute. Uh, back on the Boss Hour. We're going to go over some of the NBA scores from last night. All right, the... 
Charlotte Hornets defeated the Indiana Pacers in Indiana 117 to 95. Kemba Walker led the way for the Hornets with 25 points, seven rebounds, and three assists. Paul George followed with the Pacers with 22 points, eight rebounds, and six assists. Spurs defeat the Magic by two, 98 96. In their game yesterday down in Orlando, Kawhi Leonard of the Spurs. Man, he's having a great year. 29 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. My pick for MVP at the moment. Evan Fournier leading the way for the Magic with 28 points. Kings defeating the Sixers, who, oh gosh, the Sixers having a terrible year. 114-110. Close game, though. Rajan Rondo, man, he's getting back into it. A double-double for Rondo. 14 points, 8 rebounds, and 15 assists. How about that? Rondo. Nice to see that he's playing a little better. Celtics defeating the Clippers in the re in the match where Paul Pierce was back in Boston. Same thing with Doc Rivers back in Boston. And the Celtics get the upper hand. They win 139-134. to Isaiah Thomas leading the way for the Celtics with 36 points, 4 rebounds, and 11 assists. Uh, Chris Paul having a great game for the Clippers. 35 points, 5 rebounds, and 13 assists. Grizzlies defeating the Nets yesterday 109-90. Mike Conley leading the way with Memphis, 20 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Brooke Lopez, the center for the Nets. Look for him to be on the trade block. 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. Denver, how about Denver defeating Detroit? The 2Ds playing up in Detroit. Nuggets win by 11, 103 to 92. Joseph Nurkic of Denver, if I'm saying that right. I play with him in 2K a little bit sometimes. Uh, 16 points and 11 rebounds, 2 assists. How about the double-double for him? And Andre Drummond continues to have a great season. 15 points, 17 rebounds. Wow. And 2 assists. And, of course, your Cleveland Cavaliers here. Let's take a listen. They are two future Hall of Famers. They're two of the greatest of all time. They have developed a great friendship from playing on the national team. And Kobe Bryant in Cleveland for the last time. Head to head 20 times. James has won 14 of them. They both scored Welcome over 25 a game. You know, Kobe Bryant actually played and won two titles with Tyron Liu, the new Cavs head coach. That's how long he's been playing. It's been a minute. Then the fans in Cleveland, a lot of class, it's been the Kobe Sayonara tour. More smiles than we've ever seen from Kobe before. How about the Kobe-LeBron matchup? LeBron, Garden, Kobe, nice. Right off the start. Then later in the first, Kobe working on LeBron again. That patented turnaround. And you got to get back, Kobe. You got to get back. LeBron, the easy lay in. Well, LeBron is clearly still in his prime. He took it to Kobe time and time again. Completely outplaying him in the first half. 17 points. Kobe had just five. LeBron also had seven assists in the first 24 minutes. Cavs were up 64-47 at the break. To so the third quarter, LeBron starting to work the passing game. Oh, no. That's when you don't want LeBron to be pinpoint no. with his accuracy. No. Oh, gosh, D'Angelo Russell going down and going down hard. He would recover after some time. Then LeBron for three. So the Cavs and LeBron, plenty of love between him and Kobe, and then the home crowd at the Q. Standing ovation for the Black Mama the final time. And the Cavs win 120 to 111. James had 29, Kyrie had 35, not pictured, and the Black Mama. Plenty of emotion. So that was that. Cavaliers get the win again, 120 to 111. Uh, Kyrie Irving led the way with the Cavs. Uh, LeBron had a good night, but he led the way 35 points, three rebounds, and seven assists. And lastly, the Hawks played the, well, not lastly, uh, Hawks played the Bulls, and the Hawks get the win. Hawks again, and something I'm going to talk about uh, tomorrow on the show is the trade rumors in the league. 
Going around, the Hawks winning 113-90. to Jeff Teague led the way, and he is on the trade block right now. 17 points, 5 rebounds, 8 assists. Paul Gasol leading the way for the Bulls. 20 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. And we're going to get to the good stuff. The one game I'm sure everybody wants to know about, the Warriors, yes, they did defeat the Suns and continued their winning streak, 112-104. to And who led the way in scoring for the Warriors? None other than... Chef Curry himself, 26 points, 9 rebounds, and 9 assists. Almost a triple-double. One short for Steph Curry. Markeith Morris led the way, 19 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists for the Suns. Many other games, we'll get to those in a little bit, but let's get back to Skyler Circla. Skyler, now that we're back and we're talking more about the soccer aspect of sports and your career so far, if you when you leave college... What's the one thing you want people to remember about you as a player, as a student athlete, going to Notre Dame and then going to Cleveland State? What's the one thing you want people to remember about you? Well, I'd like people to remember that I am a good student. I'm a 3-5 GPA student, and I score a lot of goals, and I'm a fast striker with a good shot, and... Yeah, I think that's what I want people to remember. Now, when you're done in college, say everything goes the way you want it. No injuries, no, you know, the the perfect view, we're going to say. Are you going to try out for any pro teams? I don't know if I'll try out for a pro team, but I will definitely try to play semi-professional. You get paid 50 bucks a game, and it's just something to do on the side, off okay. on a weekend. Are there normal practices with... There are, but they're very short. They're like an hour and only once a week. And okay. So I could do that while working physical therapy and then on the weekends have a game. That sounds cool. That sounds like a good life. Yeah. So what do you want to – Um, you're pursuing physical therapy. Yep. So let's, th- let's talk about that aspect of it. What do you wh- – what kind of physical therapy – um, well, right now I'm going for my bachelor's in physical therapy assistant, and I might go to grad school to become a doctor of physical therapy, but I would like to work um, in a practice in a hospital or its own physical therapy practice and uh, just help out people who have gone through sports injuries or older people who don't have the capability of moving anymore. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, you're looking forward to the future, correct? Oh, yeah. So how long until everything is said and done with college? Well, I'm a junior right now. I only have two more semesters, and then I will decide if I want to go to graduate school or not. Depends on how much it will be to go to graduate school. Now, you do know i got to bring up something. Yeah. You look like a Macklemore mix with Justin Bieber. That's my cousin Skyler. That's what he looks like. Again, Skyler is my cousin, and I just got to throw that out there. So envision Macklemore hair mixed with Bieber everything, and that's what you get. But And a soccer player, so, you know. But anyway, I want you guys to vote in if you can. Uh, call into the show. That brings me to this question. Who is better, in your opinion, Messi or Ronaldo? I know <laughs> Skyler's opinion, and I know mine. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Skyler, if you want to say who you think is better between the two. Absolutely, Ronaldo. And I say absolutely Messi. But then again, I am not the biggest soccer fan, and Skyler has a career of soccer in college, and he is a soccer fan. So speaking of being a fan, who's your favorite soccer club? Manchester City. Really? Okay. What do you like about them? That Can you compare any player to yourself, like who you idolize? Well, on Man City, definitely Sergio Aguero, one of the top strikers in the world. Okay. Who have scored the most goals in Barclays League right now. So. Okay. And what, what, what about his game do you see in yours? Um, he isn't that tall, and he's like 5'10". Okay. And that's pretty short for a striker, and he's really fast, and I'm really fast, and he can okay. score goals. And you try to emulate what he does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm Skylar Circla, not me personally, but say I'm you. Yeah. What is the normal day like? (laughs) 
Say you're playing. Are you playing soccer at the moment? You're not, correct? I'm playing just co-ed leagues here and there. Okay. And, and how's that? You're up at the Lost Nation Sports Park, correct? Oh, yeah. So, uh, and shout out to Lost Nation. Uh, we want you guys to be on our sports and park recs week that we have here on uh, Lake Effect Radio. So come on down. But anyway, uh, and I'm going to be doing the basketball league there next month. So it's going to be cool. Shout out to the basketball program. Anyway, for the soccer program, talk about how how does that keep you in shape for the season, the upcoming season, or is it just a fun thing to do? Or is oh, it both? It definitely keeps me in shape because uh, it's a very competitive league, the Division A over at Lost Nation, even though it's co-ed. Um, the girls are all ex-college players, so they're very... Okay. It's a very competitive league, so I'm definitely keeping in shape for the upcoming season. Cool, cool, cool. Now, the hardest thing about soccer is what for you in your game? Um, To keep the ball on your feet whenever you have someone pushing you off the ball, probably. Okay. And uh, the easy, what, what comes easy to you in the game? Everything else? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely finishing, like shooting and scoring and okay. passing. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you like more, the high school game or the college game? That's a good question. Um, well, college is obviously a lot better competition, but uh, high school was fun because you just got to kick a ball and see you could run faster and just – out muscle the person it was a lot yeah. more physical in high school because college is more yeah. skillful and 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 the one thing that i noticed too like i play basketball yeah i'm a basketball player myself when i played uh against high school people i didn't play in high school for my school but when i played against my friends who played on the team and other guys that played at other schools when we played pickup games it was fun yeah but nobody really took it seriously because there was no statistic coming out of it. There was no reward, if you want to say, in the win-loss column. But when we play, so it was kind of, you know, whatever. Playing against guys in college, for me, seems to be a little bit better because I like playing against guys that are taller than me, that are faster than me, and that are overall better than me, even if they're not, you know, they could be a better under the basket player because they're taller, but say I have a better shot. You know, I like playing against those guys because it makes me a better player, and I can incorporate some of their game to mine. Is that something that you do when you play against guys in soccer that are better than you? Oh, absolutely. I, I look f- like I wouldn't even consider myself top 10 on Notre Dame, and we had a lot of good competition in the team. We had a lot of people from all over the world, and I definitely looked up to the top players, the top five players on our team mm-hmm. that were always never really made a mistake in a game. And yeah. Yeah, I always try to base my game off of them and try to ask them what all to right. do. Cool. Well, we're going to take another break. Uh, this is the Boss Hour, and uh, Skylar Circla again, is with me, my cousin. He plays soccer. He played for Notre Dame two years and for... Cleveland State, hopefully in the fall. We'll be right back. We're going to play some more music for you. This is the Boss Hour, Lake Effect Radio. You're listening to Lake Effect Radio, the official radio station of Lakeland Community College in Kirtland, Ohio. Are you interested in continuing your education beyond Lakeland and earn a bachelor degree? If so, you want to stop past the transfer fair being held February 24th in the A Building Atrium. Representatives from many four year colleges and universities will be on hand to provide you with any information, answer questions. Some schools have special partnerships with with Lakeland, so transferring your credits is easy. So please stop, so stop past Lakeland's transfer fair. It runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The library hours for the spring semester are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and closed on Sunday. We will also be closed January 18th, February 12th, March 12th, and May 14th. Call 440-525-7424 for more information. Earn a bachelor's or graduate degree close to home through Lakeland's Holden University Center. Choose from a variety of degree programs from nine Ohio colleges and universities. 
Taking classes your first few years at Lakeland will save you thousands. Register online for the Holden University Center Partnership Fair, Tuesday, April 12th from 4 to 6. Learn more at lakelandcc.edu slash uc. Lakeland's Holden University Center. Stay here. Go far. This is Tommy K. Touch. You can follow me at Twitter, Tommy K. Touch, Instagram, Tommy K. Touch, and my website, TommyKTouch.com. Why self a life? Cue your mom and everything else. Young Free to go. You killed this trick. That's my best friend, that's my best friend. Bless me. Big old booty, bases from Texas. What's Nelson? I'm a skeet all the n***a who can catch me. Catch me. And that's my best thing, my best thing, my best friend. Go best friend. Living TTG and everything is still on flee. Baby pulling with me, she gon' smile cause she on flee. Hundred thousand dollars at my prayer, my s*** gon' bleed. All right, everybody, welcome back to the show, and uh, that song was Best Friend by Young Thug. So, welcome back to the Boss Hour. <laughs> yeah, Skyler was just messing around with the mic, and that was a problem, so I had to, you know, show him who's boss. Anyway, uh, um, it's my best friend, it's my best friend. <laughs> We love that song. We love that song. We were playing that in the car on the way over here. So, uh, to wrap things up, we got uh, eight minutes left in the show. Skylar, I want to talk about your three favorite things that you do right now in life. What are the three favorite things? Like, talk about, talk about it. 
three favorite things in life right now. I think I know them, but our audience doesn't. So let's see. What are they? I don't think you Snapchat, do know. Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> is that true? No. Nah, it's definitely... Snapchat's got to be one of them. All right, yeah. I'll put Snapchat, soccer, and video games. Typical college student, yeah. Snapchat, video games, and soccer. But not, you know, I don't know. Soccer, really? Really? <laughs> really? Anyway, so, all right. This is going to be it for my show today. We're going to end a little early. Skyler, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Finally got you on the show. Yeah. After, you know... And uh, so, everybody, this has been the Boss Hour. And remember, Lakeland, keep it classy. Have a great day.